everyone thanks for joining me on the Ghanaian farmer youtube channel please subscribe to my channel if this is your first time so what you see us doing is um a procedure you need to follow when you're entering into your farm from outside it is water mixed with uh parazole and chlorine it protects you and your farm from any form of infection or disease you are bringing from outside the next point you see us is a tank called conditioning tank you need to have it a separate tank from the pond where you are wearing your catfish or tilapia so if any client requests for some quantity of fish to be brought or delivered to their farm you would have to separate that quantity of fish and keep them in this conditioning tank you don't feed them all you have to do is to observe them for some hours or a day or two before you take it to the farm now i asked him how do you package in what do you package the fingerling or the tilapia you are sending to the client he says some people use uh, gallons because that is you know it's fingerling so the sizes are very small some people use gallon but he prefers to use this uh plain nylon bag and then you fill it with fresh water and get a very nice uh big bowl like you see in the black bowl over there and then you add a pinch of salt to taste so when you add the salt please taste it and see if you can feel the salt in the water then you now go to where your pond is and harvest the fingerling so when you harvest the fingerling you bring it so that's the fingerlings he brought you put it into the nylon bag uh, that has the fresh water with um a pinch of salt now what also you have to do next is that the fish need to breathe well so you need oxygen yes and that's the oxygen uh, 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 stand you see next to me over there so if you pour your fish into the bag with water you would have to now you know connect your pipe tubes into the polythene and open your uh, oxygen to fill the bag okay so that you'll be able to transport these fishes or this fingerlings without any mortality so now we've just pour the fish into the nylon bag and now uh, his friend over there is going to bring the pipe tubes for us to connect or put it into so that's what you see us doing make sure that you you also Put the pipe tubes into the rubber and then you open the oxygen for some time so you have to be observing it whilst you've opened it if the rubber has enough you see it becomes very hard so as soon as it becomes very hard the next thing you have to do is that do not tie the rubber like we do regular tying no you have to look for a, um, a rubber tie that the ladies normally use to you know hold their hair and all that yes yeah. so look for a rubber tie to tie the nylon bag it ties it very very hard very very hard making it difficult for the oxygen to get out of the bag so that's what you see him doing that's the rubber tie he's using um yeah so you know to <laughs> need to learn how to do it very well if this is your first time on this channel the Ghanaian farmer please subscribe and also press the notification button now according to him it can last for 72 hours. So let's assume your client is in Tamale or your client is in Wa, is in Brongahafu or Cape Coast. It can last for 72 hours, three days. So it means even if it's from here to Nigeria or Cote d'Ivoire, it can still go without any mortalities because the oxygen is intact, the fresh water is intact, the salt, uh, the salt, the small salt you put in there is intact. So I asked him, okay, um, assuming we arrive at the client farm, does the client go ahead straight and then open the rubber and then just pour or pour the fingerling into his pond? He says no. So when the fingerling arrive in your farm, uh, the temperature in your pond is definitely different from the temperature in the nylon rubber we just delivered to you so we are now walking towards uh the client farm or we are zooming we are walking towards the client farm so 
what you do is that you would leave the tied rubber containing the fingerling on top of your water to be floating on top of your uh the water in your pond for according to him five or ten minutes so that both oxygen or both temperatures will be so the process you just saw is selling demonstrating the conditioning tank where in case a client place an order for you to deliver let's say some quantity of package you make sure that you separate the client order into that tank for some few uh, hours or days then you can now transport it to the farm and we demonstrated the kind of rubber you should use the oxygen the little bit of salt you know shouldn't take too much like two though just a small you know piece of salt put it inside there and then you take the farm when you get to the farm you will also put it in the process how you hold it take it to the tank you want to introduce them into here when you get done immediately on time and just release it into the tank then you should make sure that you leave it there for some few minutes to make sure the temperature balance before you release it to the tank so this is how you package your plastic to your next farm and you bring it into the tank thank you because more to come uh,